Hello guys, so in this video I want to talk about Mobius transformation. I want to explain what is the definition of the Mobius transformation and how uh, the certain regions of complex plane are going to be transformed under this Mobius transformation. So first, Mobius transformation is going to be mapped from uh, C union infinity to C union infinity. And remember that C we can think about as a complex plane, or in other words, it's going to be just two-dimensional plane. And if I'm going to put like infinity as a point on the top, and I'm going to use the graphic projection of a sphere onto the plane. Then you can see that using like this logic, we can show, and I can show this in another video, that C union infinity is going to be like, I'm going to say the word diffeomorphic, but you can think about the same as a unit sphere. So Mobius transformation is going to be just a map from a unit sphere to a unit sphere, where point A is going to map point B, and you can see it's like, the they're going to be the same because for every point on your sphere, you're going to get a unique point uh, on your B. So uh, one of the examples of the Mobius transformation is going to be f of z is equal to 1 plus z over 1 minus z. And the general Mobius transformation is going to be given as uh, a plus mz over b uh, plus nz. And the question I'm going to ask, what is going to be the image of a unit circle without 1 under uh, f? So in other words, if I'm going to sketch uh, a complex plane and I'm going to sketch a unit circle without uh, one, I'm going to obtain this uh, green circle without uh, just one point, uh, one zero. And that green circle on my original sphere, if I'm going to indicate this is my x-axis and what is my y-axis, is going to be the following region. And the question right now is how like that circle is going to be transformed under the map f of z. Uh, I need to give a description for a unit circle and then write the description, like plug in the description in my F and figure out what is going to be my output. So um, in order to describe the circle, I'm going to just use polar coordinates where every point in my circle I'm going to indicate the point Z is going to be cosine theta plus I sine theta. And since I don't have just one point, I'm going to set my theta to be between 0 and 2 pi. And you can check that if you're going to change your theta between 0 and 2 pi, you will get exactly that circle. So next, let's just plug in uh, our z in terms of cosine theta and i sine theta. And I'm going to obtain that uh, I will have 1 plus cosine theta plus i sine theta over 1 minus cosine theta minus i sine theta. And think about f of z first as we is going to have the map uh, from a complex plane to a complex plane. So in other words, we're going to have a complex function. So in other words, we can write the complex function as a of z plus b of z times i, where a of z and b of z are going to be uh, real functions. So in order to figure out what's going to be my output, I need to know what is going to be my a of z and b of z. And for that, you can see, observe that in my fraction, I have i on the top and the bottom. To find out what's our output, we need to get just i in the top. So I want to get rid of i in the bottom by multiplying uh, my fraction by a complex conjugate of my denominator. So multiplying by 1 minus cosine theta plus i sine theta. And after that, I just need to do algebra simplification when I'm going to multiply four terms on the top and I'm going to obtain 1 minus cosine squared theta plus 2i sine theta minus sine squared theta. And using like uh, the formula, the, the identity a minus b times a plus b is equal to a squared minus b squared on the bottom. So I'm going to obtain 1 minus cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta. And then observe that if I'm going to expand uh, or like sim uh, simplify the bottom part, I'm going to obtain just uh, 2 minus 2 cosine theta. So in other words, I'm going to have 2 sine theta times i over 1 minus cosine theta. So image of my circle is going to be given by a function where a of z is going to be equal to 0 and b of z is going to be equal sine uh, theta over 1 minus cosine theta. Next step to figure out what is my image, or in other words, what is my f of s, I need to take my theta and trace my theta between 0 and 2 pi and see what I'm going to get. And uh, since I have like a circle, I'm going to choose uh, three points. Theta is equal to pi over 2, theta is equal to pi, and theta is equal to 3 pi over 2. I'm going to indicate them by a, b, and c. And when I'm going to plug in those angles inside my function, uh, for the first function, for the first point, I'm going to obtain i. So a is going to be mapped to a prime. For the second point, I'm going to obtain 0. So b is going to be mapped to b prime. And for the third point, I'm going to obtain negative i. So c is going to map to c prime. And then you can see if I'm going to trace uh, between point a and point c through point b, then I'm going to uh, obtain the, the following trace between point A prime, B prime, and C prime. But if I'm going to trace from point one all around the circle, I, then I'm going to just get the imaginary part, or in other words, the y-axis. And right now, finally, we can visualize what is going to be actual in the sphere. 
so first we going to sketch our like imaginary axis using green color uh, on the picture above and you can see what I'm going to get I'm going to get that uh, green line but then using the stereographic projection we're going to project that line back uh, onto our sphere but if we're going to project onto our sphere we're going to obtain a circle without a north pole so you can see that what we did, uh, if we're going to think about F as mapping C into C, then we're going to map a circle without point 1 by rotating that circle uh, around sphere by 90 degrees and we're going to obtain that red circle. And then if, I, if I'm going to just take my point 1 and map it separately to infinity, then you can see how my uh, horizontal circle is going to became, became vertical one. And that's going to be the map of a unit circle under Mobius transformation.